You gotta be fucking joking. You gotta be joking. There we go. Oh, hey guys. Stephen can't be the best in my house here. And, uh, welcome back to another video. Now, here's the thing. Two things. I've been getting spam from, I forget what it was, uh, for this, you know, quote-unquote porn site. Yeah, porn site. And they changed the link. I can definitely tell. I can't remember what it was before, but I know damn well it was a little bit longer than that. Something about, I think, hot girls or something like that. Now I think it's hot mama or something like that. And it's like, are you freaking kidding me? So I blocked it and deleted it. I probably should have done it on screen, but not trying to show the website or anything because you couldn't anyway unless you want to get a virus and I don't fall for that I mean if I could I would show you some proper places not to do anything to do with that but I mean like for adults but <laughs> but I won't do it because this is YouTube so Kids or no kids, doesn't matter. And speaking of that, kids and no kids, I remember when they used to have mini ravioli as mini raviolis. You know how they have just regular ravioli? Or beef ravioli? And then they had mini uh, beef ravioli? Well, they put in these cans the big ones. And uh, they, they they labeled it as mini. Now, my question is, what happened to the mini? I mean, it's like they packed in more, or about, seems like about the same amount as the bigger ones. <laughs> what do I know? So. Mm. 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 Yeah. Kind of disappointing to know that they didn't have skeddy or meatballs, but even I would have even settled for the four pack or whatever. It would have been, I really would have, but they didn't even have that. That's two times I went one day and the next day. I mean, it's the stupidest thing. I mean, there's no guarantee it'll be there tomorrow either, but, you know. Mm -hmm. And again, I mean, see, yesterday I wanted to go get the, one of the, one of them, the Pringles cans I like getting. And, uh, they only had two of them. I come back today. None. Just sitting there empty. I can give them all the time in the world. So. But. I would like to have. More. But. but I'm not going to complain that other people. Have had the chance to get it. I'm just going to complain that there was none there. I mean seriously. If it's for everyone. They should be stocking everything. I don't care what it is. It shouldn't be one specific product. As much as I... Like, just because I want, like, one product or... With so many or a few different items that I can only so much buy with whatever I've got. Because I don't buy. Um, I get help with that, but that's neither here nor there. <coughs> but anyway... Is that thing not recording? My name... Charging? Is it not charging? It's not charging. Well, you know. No, because it's not plugged in all the way. But yeah, I mean, literally. Um, I have to say, though, that... There should be more of a stockman of it. Now, I'm not saying... The workers that have been working should come back out and do it. No. 
I mean, in one day, no. But they should hire more workers. For as much as they're getting paid to do this stuff with, much you know, there's like more cash out there than there is food stamps because I mean it does pay for it. But even if they use the food stamps, you're still getting paid. So what's the problem? That's like if Walmart get well they do too sometimes. But I mean they still have a lot a lot of product, a lot more than Dollar General. A lot of people are like oh, I don't shop at Walmart. I don't like Walmart. Walmart sucks. Yeah, it, it does. I have to admit, I agree with that, but, uh, you know, I also gotta say, though, at the same damn time, I would save a lot more money going to Walmart, as much as I hate to go to Walmart. And there's no really, no real good reasons. And every time there, but then, when there are reasons, it's like, okay, it changes. It's like when people have to change background stories or whatever, to change your story about, oh yeah, well, see, this is how it happened. Like, um, it's kind of true, but I don't know about in this particular scenario about sandwiches, but I've had similar stories like that where it's just like what happened. Basically, if you get the idea. Like, someone said, well, okay, this is what happened. The dog snatched it. And he changes it every time, whether it's the same person or, or someone else. It's like, uh, the bird took it. I, uh, I accidentally burned it. That's what happened. That's why you don't see it on there. That's why the, the sandwich is not there. I, I just, I accidentally, I accidentally burned it. Uh, uh, somebody stole it. So many different stories, and you don't know which one is real. It's like when people come up with so many, real, the real reason why I left, the real reason why I left, and what's his name from Smosh it was bad about doing that. I mean, he didn't have like several videos, no, but enough to make, it doesn't matter if you have several or not, but when you have enough to make the difference, and all you need is just about like a few. Enough to make the difference to say, yeah, that's too many. You say, okay, I don't know which one is, which one's real, and frankly, I don't give a damn anymore. And, and it wouldn't matter if it's several or a few. And a few is just enough. To, even if, I mean, even several or a few, either way, is enough to say, yeah, okay, you know what? You go ahead and keep changing your damn reasons, reasons why I left and all this crap. You know. I mean, you know, as a matter of fact, Smosh is not even a thing anymore other than the remnants of it with the original cast, apart from the one dude that left the show, do his own thing. Anyway, I mean, anyway, I'm, I'm kind of glad he left, but in another way, it's like, okay, now that they're separated from the whole Smosh brand, when they sold the website, which was a stupid idea, I mean, complete all the rights and everything, it went down, and you can't even see half the videos anymore that are on the original channel of Smosh. Like, literally. All the all the channel all the videos that you could have seen, they're not even on the channel that you would you would have been able to see if the website was still kicking, but instead it was taken down. Once they shut down, that was it. There was no more Smosh. And that was the people that took over Smosh. At the original creators behind it, which were Anthony and I just remember his name by the way, um, and Ian. Although it's not spelled with an E. He was actually born in America though, so I don't know. I, I can put up with sometimes with an E, but not always. I mean, come on, really? Anyway, but you know, whatever. No. 
So, anyway, with that said, I do have a bit of an update. I think, it, I don't know if I deleted the video or not, but I, I think I did. I was tired. Well, I actually made a shorter video than the one that I made that uh, of the last video. Now, come on. Why'd you do that? I said no. You don't do that. No. Stop. Uh, girl. I love you. You can say right there if you want to. It's okay. It's okay. Just don't mess with the wires, okay? Okay, anyways. Anyway, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was not. God, I. I, um, I stayed up, well, in order to get into that, let me, let me put it this way. I've been up, um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. If I have, I don't remember. And I do apologize if it seems like a repeat, but, um, there's more to it, though, this time, though. Anyway, I've been up for the last past nights up till, what, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, somewhere in there, and that's when I go back to sleep. I wake up really late in the afternoon, like somewhere around 11, 12, and then, um, yeah, and then go to work. Crazy, right? But yeah, I do it anyway, so. Anyway, today, mind you, of all days, I could not sleep at all until at least 6 or somewhere around there. 6 or 7 o'clock this morning. And because I couldn't sleep and I was tired enough to go, I just played Zelda. Yeah. All the way through. And, uh, you know, I have to admit, I got very far. And I since then have, I didn't even work on Mystic Quest. Not to say I didn't work at it at all. Uh, I had a little bit different on that one video, but, um. Anyway, I had worked on it before that, uh, on that same night, before I had, uh, gotten into Zelda, but I hadn't, I had got to the second phase. I don't even know where I'm at right now on, on that, I, I, I'm, I know that I went and did, um, uh, well, I kind of waited a little too late, but it doesn't really matter, because when you get Kali, you can't even... Defeat all the monsters in the first area, of the, of the the uh, before the boss of the area, the main boss, you know, of the one leading up to it. But you can't defeat it until you get the axe, which you know. Anyway, so by the time I got Tristan, I didn't even think about that, which is a second character, but. You know, he, uh, he takes a chance, and and uh, he only takes down the first boss. After that, he's pretty much a, like a sidekick or something. Doesn't really do much, because he's just like a treasure hunter. So, basically, um, yeah, I went ahead and took uh, the third character, which is Phoebe or Phoebe, whatever. It's, you know, there was no real pronunciation, but both ways are, uh, been, uh, spelled that way for someone named Phoebe or Phoebe, believe it or not, so, anyway, moving on, so, I took her, and I went through Forest, uh, and killed off all, or not Forest, uh, but level Forest, and, uh, I forgot the name of it, I don't know why, but anyway, I, t I killed them all off in that Forest, one time. I just say I didn't kill off a bunch of them. I just, <sighs> you know, when, when, I, when I was with Kelly. But, um, yeah, I took out all the, the enemies one round. Which I should have done with Tristan, I guess. I don't know if it really matters or not. I, there's no way of knowing because this game has been out for a number of years. And um, I couldn't tell you how many. 
And now I think it was like what around the nineties or something like that, and uh, it ended in such a way that uh, before he could, uh, the character or the guy who created the game. Um, in with the development team of, well, it, it, I guess Squaresoft and, or Square Enix had nothing to do with this game particularly. But it was like a, um, how you call it, an off-brand of Final Fantasy because they didn't have no summons, but they did have spells, um, weapons, and armor. Uh, but as well that the characters you have do level up, but not while they're in the same party. Eventually, they level up to the, what they're going to be maximum that they have set. No. Other than that, no. Any amount of characters, even whether it's Tristan, uh, Ruben, Kali. Kali levels up, too, by the way. And then she pretty much stays the same, I guess, until the end of the game. Who knows? They don't really get an evil, um, level increase or nothing once you get a hold of them again. Especially up to the point that they, they leave your party again for the final time. Maybe you would, or you got to be with Phoebe or Phoebe for the final time before she helps you end the final endeavor with the game. So, you know, and ultimately, she's like the final character. <laughs> yeah, 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 Anyway, so, but, you know, I mean, I, I like this game. One of my favorite games right here. Another one of mine is Zelda, A Link to the Past. Um... I got two separate save files because I want to check Ruben or not Ruben, Tristan's weapon because sometimes it can increase randomly. Um, doesn't matter whether you get the weapon or not; it can increase as you level up. Though that's the that's the odd thing about it. I never really thought about it before, but yeah, there's they do. Uh, they increase all the attack power every time you level up, but the characters themselves, you're. Uh, the ones you got with you never really level up beyond what they're going to be over time or off uh, before the you know final moment to be set. And that's it for the rest of the game, period. So let's see, where am I at in terms of... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah this is where I'm at right here. This is the digging game. And I don't even have all the crystals yet. I, I've done things a little bit out of order that I don't normally do. I got this and this separately. I mean, I kind of did like it before, but a little bit different. Um, and I actually had fairies to do it. You know? I kind of just like... I fast... I, what I had done was I took down... Okay. With the first pin that you know that when you got to, when you get to the point that you actually have to fight and stuff like that and whatever, you actually have to, to get the first pin that whether you like it or not, you're forced to do that. I don't remember if I said it or not, but I think I have. I don't know. Anyway, not to repeat myself, but it's true. But however, you don't actually have to go and defeat the second pendant to get to the third pendant. You can just go defeat it. And then it's going to take it a second pin. However, if you do them in the right order, which the second pendant, which is obviously the one where you get the glove, which is the only way to get up to the third pendant, uh, eventually, um, I mean, not eventually, but the, the uh, priest, which I really don't care for the church at all, it, uh, it's a disdain. I never really cared for churches, but hey, you have no much, don't have much choice in this. So, anyway... Moving on. Um, he says, Now go for the final one and get the Master Sword. That's if you defeated the uh, second pendant. I didn't do that this time. I went ahead and took out the toughest mf -er, and He's going to still always be the toughest one because he's always 
the toughest thing about him is he's always knocking you off. You know, a ledge. Because that's how they make him do that. Even in Ganon's Tower. Yeah, Ganon's Tower. Because, yeah, unfortunately, I know about Ganon's Tower. Um, but, uh, it's between him and that's the only hardest part, what makes him so hard and difficult to fight. Other than that, the hardest part as well is going to be uh, between the uh, the uh, third crystal's boss, the moth. Yeah, the big, the big head with the wings, which I guess is a moth sort of thing. I don't know. Anyway, and but he's not more. He he's he's hard, but not as hard as. Seventh Crystal's boss. Yeah. That's really tough. I mean. What makes him tough is the fact that he can be hard to get to. But you basically gotta, you know, you don't, you don't have to even have all the crystals to get up. You can just go beat it. And like I said, I do remember this. You don't have to get all the crystals um, in the right order. But you do have to get them, though. Um, but once you once you get the hammer, that's pretty much all set. And I did find something out that I did not know before. You don't actually need the hook shot. Now you don't. Not to get to the village in the dark world. All you gotta do is once the wizard draws you there, um, and you get the hammer, you can actually go and just like go to the forest, the uh, lost woods. I mean, from the village, because there's actually a path you can go to, and then go to the other part where there's a tree that always, I mean, always has a little stock of a full bottle of medicine, or ma I mean, not medicine, but magic. <laughs> you know, and it, it that's good. All you gotta do is just dash into it once you get the boots. So, anyway, you pound down those deals, and you should already have had the glove, the first glove, otherwise, <laughs> you wouldn't even, even have had the hammer. Anyway, so you lift up that deal, get your portal right there, boom, you're done. You don't even need the second glove. Or the hook shot. The hook shot is just mainly for the boss. That's from what I can see anyway. For the uh, second crystal. That's it. Wow. Damn. You know, there's not really much point in the hook shot, to be honest. I mean, you know, other than, you know, hook, hook shotting onto, like, bottles and stuff like that, you know, when you need to. And, then, and that's only on the second crystal. That's it. Otherwise, the hook shot has no purpose. And if you didn't have the hook shot, you wouldn't be able to even beat the second crystal. And otherwise, this, the hook shot serves no purpose. So I don't really understand the point of why we even need it in, um, in the first place. I mean, literally. I mean, all it does is hook shot you to a place that you... Because when you first get the game, and you first play, you're meant to think you actually have to have the hook shot. Which means in Thush, you, you know, you're meant to think you have to actually get the first crystal. You don't. All you have to do is get the pendant, or not the pendant, but the, um, the hammer. You know, just like the, the light world, only you got more to get. And it just gets tougher. I mean, the, the boss is on here are not that tough. I mean, yeah, he's going to be tough with the second crystal, but not as, I mean, it's between that one, um, the moth for three, and, um, the one on Turtle Rock, and, oh my god, the pendant one, the third pendant, that's always going to be the toughest boss there is. And what makes him tougher of all of them is the fact that he throws you off the edge. And you actually have to beat him twice. Oh, yeah. Which, it's odd that not all bosses are even in there, but some of them are. 
up there in Gannon's Tower. I've heard about this. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, literally, you know, all the, uh, you know, you actually have to basically have the flute, the Canaan of Samaria, I think. What is this? What is this? Uh, yeah. Uh, the fire rod, the ice rod, the hammer, you got to have that. You don't have to have the hook shot. Definitely had to have that, and I believe you have to at least have one of these medallions. I forget which one it does. I think it's ether or quake, whatever. You actually have to have uh, two of them for one. You know. And you don't really need this, but you know, but you will need this most have definitely, especially if you want to get to. Um, third crystal or earth i think yeah actually i do know you have to have it i think no i don't know what you need the damn thing for hmm. well anyway pretty much once you do that you can just yeah yeah you actually have to have the hammer because you need it for like to get into the seventh crystal pretty much using all of your skills that you've learned so far i have all bottles now um so you know the randomizer they give you both the shovel and the flute which you can select between which is pretty freaking awesome uh you can also and they also give you the option to select between the old blue ring the very first one that was blue and the red one that's pretty awesome too so that, that i thought was pretty freaking awesome uh, and what else as, as well as you see the the the, the 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 in a normal game it goes up to triple nine that's the maximum you can have and the randomizer they have it at four nines and some of the modern versions with the Japanese version of the original they actually go up to uh, or, and then there's one of them that they actually made from the original copy that actually um, <clears throat> Is already at four nines. But anyway. So yeah, I mean literally this is where I'm at and that why I always remember disappearing for some reason or another. Eventually. And eventually I would like to do the randomizer, but you know either way, you know, we we're pretty much um, here, I mean, th this is it, I mean, this is, you know, th th I'm literally in the second phase of this game, I just haven't beaten the first boss, the second phase, um, there's a, what, three or four boss, uh, what, three, three bosses before the main one, um, of the, of the, uh, second phase, if you, if you want to call it that, that, anyway, you know, when you get Phoebe the first time for the second crystal in this game. Which, if you don't already know, there's actually five in this game. This is not like Zelda where you, you know, you do have to get the crystal though in order to get to each one. So, yeah, I mean, pretty much. Um, so, I've got like six videos that are going to come out. I want to work on this off screen though. And I pretty much. I have been working on this. Trying to fast forward this as much as I can. I'm, and you see that double. Uh, arrow up there. Up above uh, my icon. My picture. Yeah that's for fast forward. That's one of the things I like about this. Um, I don't think Classic Boy had fast forward. It sucked monkey balls. I mean, I know the original version did, and, I mean, it has save states, but it, does, it all it has is just, like, an auto save state. This one here has, it may be a few regular um, save states, and it has an auto state, which is not bad at all. I think that's pretty good, considering. So, what I'm going to do is, instead of trying to get a bunch of, um, like, what I do normally, is I'm just going to get, like, a... Like a what I need for the pertaining amount of areas of seeds and go back and forth off screen here before I 
uh, go in there and fight off all the monsters and then go and get fight out the boss. Because I'm going to need the seeds. Because all the monsters are going to take spells. Believe me, spells. Because, I mean, I could fight some of them with weapons, no big deal. But a lot of them, you literally need spells, unfortunately. You know. Which really sucks, but, you know. Yeah, so I'm pretty much maxed out on my bloms because I don't want to sit there and get in trouble. I don't want to be like seen as one of those T E. I can't think of how you spell that. I know it starts like that, but then I think it's R R I S T. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, I, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Terrorist. I don't want to be that. I really don't. So that's why I don't want to say it. So I'm not going to say it. A lot of people think it's cool to say that. But, I mean, even though it actually is in the game. See? D-O-M-B. I can spell it. But I can't say it. Look at that. That power is pretty freaking awesome. I got that, I got that. I mean, these do increase over time, but if you leave them alone randomly, I've noticed this. Uh, like, in other words, when I say leave them alone, in case you're wondering, like, in other words, if I were to upgrade them to different weapons, they would suck. Let's say the same. You know where they're at instead of growing in power and sometimes they will grow but they won't and then they'll stop and um but even still they add on to the power of the total amount for the final weapons including the ones uh, that are your secondary weapons you're going to be getting all together you got a lot of power but it's still i, I guess for some reason never enough over the weapon power itself even though it says my attack well right now this that's what it is right now because we're at the beginning of the game we're just beginning and we don't have all the armor sets to finish it, that off that's another thing that adds on to that magic i mean evade wow look at that and i i can't believe that i forget which one of them it is or a few of them you don't you can't get i think uh few of them in there you can't have a, a a deal but some of them you can I, mean, I forget what they are i think one of them is like doom dance or uh doom dance basically the uh it, it just kills you in one hit like basically a, a instant kill or instant death attack um uh silence can be protected and negated I'm not sure about paralyze I haven't really looked this up or anything, because I'm not going to either, to be fair. Um, I know you can stop confusion and blind. Eventually, I, I think. Maybe I'm wrong about that. It's been too long since I've actually played this and beat this game. But, you know. Yeah, and, um, but, oh. I believe that's the highest attack power I actually have. And that's about the closest you'll ever see. You see that right there? The closest I'll ever get in the magic is my claw, my the cat claw that's been given to me. Handed down to me, passed down from the secondary character to me. Isn't that crazy? Does it save your life, I guess? <laughs> Unlike a certain character who dies in the original game. And unlike in the remake, where she can still die, but they do it to the fact that, yeah, you can actually let her survive. I won't say any names. I've already spoiled enough about it, but, you know, I, it's just, it, 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 God, it's a sore subject, basically. I mean, look at all that. I mean, a lot of the stats she's got there, all the characters, in fact, all the characters starting in this game... If you notice so far, they started out 
They'll always start out with a higher stat than you. And for a long time, they will remain that way until you start getting better stuff as you go along. You can do that, you know, as you go along and collect it for the time period that you're in. And even though you mean that you, you have to get rid of them for a while, in other words, they leave your party, basically. They have to... This is what they're programmed to do according to the storyline. Um, you'll get better stuff, and then eventually you'll be better than them. Um, and when you finally get Reuben, things start to change fairly drastically. I mean, not at first, when you're first getting new. <laughs> but when you start getting adding on and not and on, it all adds up. And boom, you're like almost the most powerful uh, good guy. More than they are in terms of what it's showing here. That doesn't mean literally anything when you're actually attacking in battle. Which I guess is obvious. But yeah, I mean literally. Uh, and I always thought you had to have like a certain amount to whatever. I'm not, I, I think you, I'm not sure if you have to have to. You know, I, I can't remember. I think you have to have like 2,000 or 500. I can't remember now to buy the... Uh, the battle axe, which I don't have, which would be the secondary axe. The night sword, you don't know, is a uh, treasure just like Excalibur. Yeah, I mean, you know. And um, apparently, you can go pick up the night sword after the fact of actually getting Excalibur. In other words, say you play through the entire game without ever upgrading that for the longest time. It's the second one. I Something about it overriding it and you actually ending up with sometimes this one or the Night Sword. I'm not sure how that works. I just know that I've heard about that. I've never actually seen any videos, so there's not really... I believe it's possible. So I'm open to possibilities, unlike some people. Um, I'm just not going to sit there and say that, yeah, definitely, for sure, like, oh, it, it's really real, it's true. The only thing that's real about it is the possibility of it, which is unfortunately sad, in a way, but in another way, it's good, because, I don't know, it just, I guess it depends on what your definition or term of monology of having to of beat this game. So far, we almost dang near 100% of this game the last time I played it um, through it on the recording. The only thing that was missing from it was, I can't remember if I maxed out all my items or not, but, uh, see, that's also <laughs> how long it's been. See, I can't even remember that. I, did, I, just know, I just remember having all the items. Um, all the items, I was just thinking about the ones that have, like, um, you see that right there where it has numbers? Yeah, those are the things right there. But, um, yeah, I forgot about, yeah, like these here too. They're unlimited. Uh, but they're also, even though they may be unlimited, but they're items that are not useful anymore. Pretty much. You're just taking up space doing nothing. You know, whatever. Huh. I mean, I guess it does kind of fill the void. <laughs> to be a permanent project or permanent... On them that stays. But anyway, yeah, so, anyway, those right there, when I say, you know, uh, you know, maxed out, what I say, I, recall, I can't remember what I call it, but anyway, we've got 42, 27, 7, 3, which are, I guess, kind of odd numbers to have. But yeah, basically, you know, you can have everything maxed out, but it uh, can also backfire depending on the cheat code. Um, there are cheat codes that actually work, or it was, uh, for you to have unlimited health or whatever, not backfire. I forget what, what it backfires or whatever, if you got the other code for that. But, you know, whatever. Some cases, I do know for a fact, it would be like, once you put it on, you can't take it off. This code, you can put it on and take it back off, and it's not going to affect anything and stay forever. That's one thing I like about that. Um, 
So, kind of like in Final Fantasy VII, which I can't say speak much about it, but um, I have heard, because again, I've never actually played through it. I did play some, um, you know, I did a little bit there, but, you know, whatever. You know, as much as I had to say, I have, I have some, but I haven't actually played all the way through it and, and or gotten the, even the cheat code or said, well, you know, and then it stayed permanently. I heard it from a, another source or from the grapevine, basically. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that sucks. Because it's like, okay, so the game, internally, you don't really need it, unless you're just trying to take down one entire opponent, just, or turn it to survive long enough to get one specific thing. Because you're wanting to do it as early as you can. You know. Which really blows. Because then it didn't. It, it affects other things. Which really sucks. It's like the basic way to punish you. Even though that. <clears throat> you can go through the entire game and have. Like your maximum everything. Ow. Poke me, will you? Ah, get up! Get up. Ah. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'll get you down. I'll get you down. There you go. Who's a good girl? There you go. She's on her back just because you want her. You poke me. I don't really have to poke you. I don't like everybody poke you, would you? Alright, then. I know you don't mean to, but you still should you know better. Uh, be aware of it. Damn. I don't care if you poke, poke out your claws. Just don't poke me. Okay? You don't see me putting that my claws into you. No, sometimes mine are more whittled down than yours are. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. You know the rules. Don't bite. Okay? I, you know, I even have rules for her not to go unless she wants to. Like, or unless I absolutely have to have her move. I don't need her to actually leave. Doesn't seem to know when I say move, she goes and leaves the air, aforementioned area where we're at. Which is crazy. But anyway, so, you know, I try to force upon more rules without, you know, hurting them, but. I don't know that they gotta follow the rules. So, anyway. I'll mean, tell you what, I mean. Time I got done doing uh, Zelda, um, what is it now? Today I, I uh, boy, I tell you what, I had to. I went to sleep, woke back up for a little while. I was still tired. Tired. I'm still tired now. I was half as tired as I was when I had to because I st I had to wash clothes. As before long, Bill Day. Oh yeah, Bill Day. It draws ever closer. Right now it's the 24th. So, yeah, there's that. Any doggone way. I just wanted to quickly update you. I mean, you should be updated. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't want to be updated. I mean, I don't mean like every five freaking minutes of your precious life or every day um, about what's going on. But, uh, you know, I am starting to like these recordings, though, because uh, I get to talk more and more focus on more subjects besides playing a game. And I, I just, I gotta say, I mean, literally, I love doing things a certain way. And if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't even be here doing my thing, you know. 
Now, I've got a high dive. I've got, you know, that. I mean, you know, the odd thing about it is that it takes up only so much space as before. I guess as long as I don't add on to it, I guess. I don't know. I love the Shining Force series, even though I actually never played it. But I've seen a little bitty clips here and there of it, like images and stuff like that. To what I, because yeah, it depends on the graphics and how well they play, the words how well they play into the uh, the game and how well it could uh, affect things. You know. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, but yeah, I literally, uh, I I don't like this. Anyway, so I'll see you later. I got, yeah, don't pay attention to that. That's a stupid app. I probably will be up deleting once I get more into the chance of getting other apps on here. And, um, I'll show you what I mean when I say space. This is the only way you can, well, I think there's another way to do it, but I'm not going to go into it. This is an easier way. So look at that. Oh, what was it? 57, that one to 61. And that's because of the stupid updates. Yeah. The stupid updates. See, every time they add more into updates, which it should never really do. And another thing is, right here. See this right here? We're changing our unlimited high-quality storage policy. Starting June 1st, 2021, any new photos and videos you upload in high-quality will count towards your Google store account storage. All photos and videos you back up in high quality before June 21 are exempt from this change. It will not count towards your Google account storage. That is stupid. So basically, they're limiting you, and they want you to pay more. They want you, you know, link it up to it, which is dumb as hell. And then they got this right here. Removed ads and editing, which, okay, I can, I can handle the part about the ads. But add a window proposing to support raw development. It is not mandatory, and you can skip this one. No, that's bull crap. No, I'm not gonna. I ain't gonna do that. Literally, because not all things are really. Even though they say it is, it's not really skippable. It can be a pain because you got to go through all this. Ad, it's still ads, basically telling you. Well, are you, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? And you keep saying, yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. You know? On and on and on. And then it's like, eh. <laughs> you know. and so, I say to hell with it. So, if I were to just back up my photos or whatever that I upload, which I tr don't really, I guess I... I I guess I can't upload it on there anymore for backups or whatever. But what I could do is send it to my email. I mean, I don't do videos. I try not to anyway because they take up too much dang room. And they take forever to upload to anything other than YouTube. I mean, literally forever. Sometimes it could take almost a freaking month, like it seems like eternity, before it finally says, Yeah, by the way, I'm done. Now you can send it now. So, no thank you. Anyway, I'll see y'all later, and um, I hope to do more of these. I'm starting to like these. I used to not like these at all, these update videos. I mean, not to say I didn't like them at making them, just to update things. I just didn't really care to do them, but because I'm having to do them so much. Especially because, well, we still have a long ways to go before Doom is finally done. And I still have yet to edit. I mean, I didn't, just didn't feel like I wound up not, I mean, I have one more finishable edit last few videos. That I have not met, tinkered with on, in the description. Other than that, they're ready to come out. 
And I thought that um, these were going to be going through February. Now, if I make them, I can make them easily enough stretch to that, but that would mean that I would have to skip a Sunday or something. And because of the last video that I have in the list, it has nothing to do with the gameplay footage other than very little. I mean, absolutely very little. Um, there's, it would be only one. So I scheduled it for a non-normal day that's not part of a set. So it'll be for Monday, the next day after that. And uh, Because I don't really want to bog it down to five videos, but you know, it'll be five videos anyway. But, you know, not in one day at least. So, you know, and I'm... I, I'm gonna start putting out like at least two or two to three videos a day, um, at least, even if it's not the same video or whatever. I want to try to make update videos though a part of the, the entendre, where they're released maybe every other week or something during a Thursday or something, um, and just one, not like I did that one time to do kind of fill the void you know so you guys ought to be watching these and looking at what's going on because literally they're important I mean they're not more important than the gameplay footage no but they are important enough to let you know what's going on in case you're wondering like where everything stands and the things are coming back I'm getting close to ever closer to Proposed to bring in back Zelda and Mystic Quest. Well, Mystic Quest and a little less than Zelda, but still, I'm working on it. I just, I said, just let me take my time. Okay, I have yet to do a bonus video on Doom itself, which I have, I will be doing, because uh, um, there are secrets I would like to get, and I've seen one. That I actually didn't even know you could get to. Uh, an area that I thought you couldn't get out of. I think there's like a uh, teleporter or something you can use. I can't remember what happened there. But, uh, you know, I said, well, you shouldn't fall off there. doesn't look like there's uh, any way out. So, I'll, uh, I'll be checking that out. But, yeah. Uh, I want to focus mainly on Mystic Quest and Zelda, getting those up there. And at least getting Zelda to the point that I can actually not only bring it back, but uh, to finish it off finally once and for all. There's not, and I don't remember if I said this in any other video, update videos, but there's not much left in terms of secrets left that I, that I, that I know of. <laughs> I mean, there's like one secret under the f true final boss of the game that I've heard about. <laughs> It's very hard to get to, but, you know, you have to be able to fall down it. And it, it's, that's, that's what makes it hard because you, you know, there's also one more secret that it's hard to get to. That where you wind up in, Link, in Link's house. Oh, yeah. Well, there's actually rupees in there, but it's like a dim, different dimension inside of his house. And you don't even know it's his house until you go out of it. So, I don't know how you're supposed to activate that. Uh, it just happens, I guess, randomly. Once you hit that hole where the where you drop down to the ferry next to... I forget where the cave... It's like... It, okay. I'll have to show you during the thing. But it's, it, it's during... Close enough to the graveyard. Where you would actually normally have to have the... Uh... The second set of gloves, the, the Titan mitts, I guess. But it, it turns out you don't really need them just to get into the uh, the secondary uh, place for which you know treasure. But I believe I think that's where the cape is. Not sure. Yeah. But anyway, that's that's that. Other than that, you know, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm tired now. Anyway, I might just upload this tomorrow. Bye bye.